<laughs> so it's Slam Dunk South and I'm here with two members of Dead Hearts. How are you doing? Chilled? Yeah, it's well chilled. Yeah. It's been a good day. It's been a very good day. Yeah, yeah. We had a bit of a heavy night last night, so I thought it could be maybe not so good of a day, but it turned out right. You've got to run with it. Stay wavy, aren't you, really? <laughs> chilled. <laughs> because you give it everything when you perform live like it's carnage it's all out so do you like take care of yourselves ahead of a show or do you just <laughs> no uh, I think, I think there, there are bands that do I think that if we, if we didn't I think if we took care of ourselves we kind of feel a little bit phony you know what I mean because it's like Not you. it's that sloppy and mental we still we, we all when we're writing as well we kind of we'll only write stuff we can play live and we'll only play so we'll only write things that we can play live when we know we're in a bit of a tangle so it's like you're kind of preparing for a fall but it kind of sets you up so you can kind of do what you want so you can have a laugh and we're not here to kind of be the police of everything we want to we want to be able to go out and have fun like why else would you talk you know it's like you want to be able to travel and, and get a bit up and you know and have a laugh and yeah swear as much as you like oh, on yeah, this go on <laughs> i just realized there's a camera there <laughs> i'm just like ah oh. <laughs> Not even in shot, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's going on. Just like your nose, like. Right, right. Right. Looking it, in, like. It's big enough, isn't it? <laughs> it's, 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 no, I believe when you started out, I think it was 2009 ish, you were more like a technical band? Yeah, uh, yeah, I started a band in 2009 and it was with a different load of dudes. Um, and we were more of a technical, so maybe architects, um, early stuff. Uh, but then we lost a guitarist and then Pask joined. Um, and then we decided to go a bit different, you know what I mean? A bit more down the road than we are now, so. I'm guessing it's a bit easier to play the less technical stuff when you are a bit like, what? Yeah. Right things, we just write, we write riffs that we just think, well, that'd be good to go mental to live. Yeah. It doesn't have to be really tech, quite technical, as long as you can just go mental, I suppose it's, it's good. Yeah. There's stuff, there's stuff that we write that, I think piecing it, piecing the, really jagged adjacent parts together is actually more difficult than like the parts themselves if you like try and go from some horrible Wah! to like some really like nice tidy something that's like the challenge Sorry. once you're in you're fine but then so yeah it's yeah <laughs> and uh, yes i think that's more more of the challenge i think really but yeah it is easier to play but putting it together is actually harder i think definitely. i hear you're at the stage where you are writing new material for the next album now saying this. Saying that. he's spreading the word i don't really like, know he's, he's like is this why we're doing loads of press today yeah. Yeah, I was knowing. what <laughs> album <laughs> really this new album <laughs> yeah we are we are we have wrote some again, yeah. we've been it will not be out till next year sometime probably very early days definitely so, in a lot of discussions with the a few labels we didn't sorted. think we'd ever be able to talk to. We've got new management, they're looking after us. Just, to... it, it needs, this needs to be the one now, so we're going to take our time with it. We'll definitely write with Al. It'll be, definitely be out next year. Do you have that chat amongst you where you go, what direction shall we go in? Who, who influence shall we take on? That sort of thing? Or? A little bit. Not really that much. We all kind of vibe off the same things. We're quite a self-funded band, really. We try and do as much as we can on our off our own batch really um, but it is nice to have a good backing and we do have at the moment some good people backing us so yeah it must be quite an adjustment when you've been quite a DIY band and then suddenly you've got so many more opinions you've got to listen to and take on board right like. I think it just depends on how you push yourself in the public eye like so there, there are there are bands that would go like we've just signed two and then they'll like put like like a photoshopped image of like some booking agencies and it's like I get it that's fine but it's not us you know what I mean at the end of the day the people there's there's four members of Dead Arts and well there's we've had a bit of an issue with the basis so, so we've got a stand in at the minute so we, we, there is five but then whoever we work with if we don't get on with them we won't work with them it's like they, it's like that's the sixth member the seventh member the eighth member it's like we look at our booking agent and management like our family so in, thank god I mean they're amazing which is why we want to work with them so in that respect as in like adding members to the family that's DIY for us you know what I mean if you can bring somebody in that's good for us like, definitely it's kind of a, a marriage that makes sense and everyone's authentic and in it for the right reasons I guess that's yeah 
uh, we've done things in the past that are like a little bit, oh god, why did we do that? So we, the, the end of last year, had a bit of a rough end to the year, lots of personal reasons, so we decided, right, from now on, that's it. We are only doing things that benefit us, as, as a band, all of us. So like, but again, you've, there's that line of, there's selling out, and then there's doing what's, what's good for you, that's, that's growing, so we just took the conscious decision to, to grow, but knowing for you know what I mean, so... This year should be an exciting year if you get cracking on the album and stuff like that. Yeah, the, the new stuff will be a lot heavier. Good. Um, a lot more, more, more loose. We want to get the live sound more on the CD. So, like, yeah, it just kind of sounds the same. It's not really clean cut. It's kind of just what it is. A bit raw. Yeah, just just like, yeah, just raw and natural, if you know what I mean. Too many records are a bit too overproduced at the moment. We we love that, the Cult for the Agad Youth album, but that was what we wanted at that time, whereas now the newer stuff is written more towards being a bit more dirty and being a bit more loose and natural sounding, if you know what I'm saying. I think we tried to claw back a little bit of the kind of rawness by adding a few little tracks and samples things into the album and really we've probably just, now we've kind of grown up a bit more and kind of learned. We probably should have looked at the overall production but I mean the guy we recorded the album with Oz Craggs from Feed the Rhino is amazing. Like one of the best technicians and best producers we've worked with. He's so good. It, it, it's what we asked for but now we've kind of grown. We're like in fact, probably should have asked for a little bit different. But I suppose if, if well, that album was written differently, so it, definitely. Yeah, it was. I mean, if, if you're not going to grow from it, then you might as well just write the same album ten times. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we've, we've definitely it's been a it's definitely been a step right again now. We're evolving. Yeah. Oh, you, you're on tour at the moment with Bear Tooth and yeah. Colin Morrell. We're actually missing Bear Tooth right now. Yeah, they're playing right now. Yeah. Whoops! I'm sorry about. That. You've it's, seen them enough. It's all right. Too far away. No, but um, yeah, they're fucking amazing boys. They're like so nice. It's a pleasure to talk with them, really. You know what I mean? They just fucking sound like. Am I right in thinking they bought you like a board to like crowd surf oh, on yeah, or something? Yeah, um, oh, they just they bought us a boogie board. Yeah. Is it? Or a bodyboard? Yeah, but like you know the you know the bodyboard things that you kind of skim on the sand and water on. They you tried them, and they just put a left yeah. it on the stage and just said like from there to. Yeah. So we just used it. Real like we were just like actually like crowd see. surfing. Crowd surfing. Crowd surfing. Literally when, crowd surfing. Yeah, when they when they first came over, we hadn't seen them in seven, six, seven months, and they're like out of all the bands we've told them, we got them with them best. We love them to bits. We all stay in contact like really good mates of ours. So when they came over, we made like a, we got a cookie cake from. Millie's cookies for him. So they've had that, and then the day after they bought us a bucky board. Which at the, at the end of the show, Colin Morale were like, Oh my god, where did it go? Where did it go? And we went, Oh, I think somebody kid. stole it. Just kid ran out of bloody way. Crowd <laughs> surf, I'm having it. <laughs> just, you went though. To be fair, I think someone put their head through it. <laughs> they were like, That was the best show of tour art for me personally, Bournemouth. It was a really small it was venue. Like was 100 cats, like sold out, and it was just, it was just exactly what our show was. It should be like, really. We had, it was, it was we a good show. Us. Off that show. Loved it. it was amazing. The fuel for us out were amazing. I know you're meant to like huge crowds and festivals and stuff, but sometimes those sweaty little, oh, <laughs> unprofessional <laughs> guys. <laughs> I interviewed him earlier, actually. Nice dude. Old, old lots, yeah. Oh, I was a chef lad. We moved on oh, to Berry Tooth. <laughs> we I moved on. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what about him? Just that talk? Yeah, they're here today, aren't they, as well? Are you, are you hanging with them as well? Amazing lads. Like Dawson's from Barnsley, which is our neck of woods. And it's just a small world that he joined Berry tomorrow. And then a business I work with, really, deal with Dan and Dav all the time. And we all know him from being on the festival circuit. So it's like, he just, oh, what a small world. He's like, they're, so, nice, yeah, they're good lads. They're amazing. Good to talk with them and Oxley. We like to party like we really do, so. They're amazing, so, honestly. Dan, we get all of them. Very well. All of them amazing. Yeah. It's, it's such nice the party life. starter. Yeah, the party starters. It's a drink that Dav pulls down on our neck. Vodka and gin really mixed together. <laughs> gin, vodka, lemonade, lime, is it? No, I thought it was a straight vodka. <laughs> Either or. That's what it's I was having it. anyway. It might have been. Yeah, we, we've been saying like the June tour for us would be very tomorrow, bear two with us. And all of us have said the same. So like, we'll probably get to put together in the next few years. Definitely. That is a line up and a half. It'd be a lovely, be a lovely be. time. It'd be like having been holiday for your mates. For it's been amazing. Hardly work, isn't it? It's not really, no. It's not really. All right, 
Uh, just want to wind up because you seem like one of the most down to earth fans. The, the interviews I've read and the interviews I've watched, you, you kind of keep it real. Is that, is that what it is? It will come in time. But do you find on the whole most fans are pretty cool or are there a few like absolute divas out there? Oh, really? Why? Why is the answer something that would be um, controversial? Because there is loads of cool bands. There's uh, like pretty much every band we've ever toured with, we've got along with and love yeah. uh, but like there has obviously been other other people but you know yeah they, um, they can't really talk but, but, like, like, yeah. but it's just, like, it's you know like, end of day it's, you're yeah. always going to get it aren't you like I would guess some bands probably might think that we're dicks but I think nine out of ten bands I mean, are maybe the, you know, you know, it's just it's all politics that I can't be bothered even when we've done bands even when we've done tours with bands that don't necessarily suit us but we've kind of been convinced management and sort of said right honestly we think it'd be good then we kind of go you know what fuck it let's just go and have a laugh let's go and meet these lads when you get somebody sat down with a pint and you get that instrument off them they're the same lad as us you know what I mean so it's like everyone's in it for the same reasons everyone's out to have a laugh everyone's a lad you know what I mean so that's that when you kind of strip everything back everyone's a boy you know what I mean everyone's part of the family in the day we're all in the same scene aren't we so yeah definitely that's a rather nice way to end isn't it we're all in this together aren't we yeah, we'll all be lads live by yeah. ladies <laughs> live I'll be a lad <laughs> I'll be a lad <laughs> well have a great time today and you've got a few festivals haven't you uh, tram lines breakout is it breakout tram lines 2000 trees yeah that should be pretty yeah, sick tram line. that one's got an answer today 2000 trees I'm looking forward to that I've be never been there so it's meant to be beautiful yeah, it's meant to be like it's been real fun, cool as yeah. fuck. So, oh, for that. proper mix across the board, like when we're not touring, the kind of music we listen An to. Alkaline is so, Trio is I know. Headline, it? Oh, so, yeah. Honestly, that's amazing. We listen to everything across the board, so like for such a diverse festival, can't we? Right. Hopefully, I'll see you there actually. So, um, have a good summer. See you there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.